You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. On Tuesday, August 2nd, Governor Bashir made an appearance at the Floyd County Community Center to commend those who are volunteering with American Red Cross and FEMA. Some are even volunteering while being washed out of their own homes. Despite this, relief efforts remain strong here in Floyd County. We're here in a, a center that is serving both as a shelter. I've gotten to talk to some amazing families that are here, haven't lost everything, but really glad that they're still on planet Earth with us, able to meet and see their relatives and maybe even have a little fun playing basketball with a couple other kids. And we've got volunteers of all types making sure that if they can get here, they are helping their fellow human beings. What you're seeing behind us is a little bit of who we are as Kentuckians. I want to thank the leadership of Floyd County. They have virtually everybody back up with power. They have virtually everybody back up with water in this county. We've got a state park not far from here that has about 140 people in it. We've filled every room, every cottage, and now we're putting up travel trailers to make sure that we can house as many people as possible, working as fast as we can. Governor Bashir also mentioned the arrival of individual aid applications for FEMA and assures those who apply will receive assistance. Anyone who has been affected by flood damages, even businesses, can apply for aid by either going to disasterassistance.org or calling the FEMA hotline at 1-800-745-0243. Individual assistance is a big deal. Six days in. Uh, since we took off this morning to be here in Floyd County, it has received uh, uh, the signature by the president for its people to receive individual assistance through FEMA. What that means is people who go through the process and qualify can uh, get dollars directly to them to help them rebuild. Program's not enough, but it's a whole lot more than otherwise would be available. It is a difficult system, and that's why we're going to have a lot of different ways for people to navigate it. The people of, of this county can go online right now, disasterassistance.gov, um, .org, .org. Um, They can uh, call the FEMA hotline, but in all the counties that were the first five that we got set up, we already have a center where FEMA is set up. We're hoping by tomorrow afternoon we'll have that in Floyd County too. Uh, if you are initially denied, do not give up. We want to help you. I've specifically asked the administrator for FEMA our regional director and the president to assure we have a better success rate this time around than we've seen in the past. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.